The not a tier list tier list. The LK special. The LK special. The not a tier list. Uh, definitely not a tier list tier list. The LK special. We do this for Dragon Ball as soon as new characters drop, as soon as patches drop, and we're gonna do it for Guilty Gear Beta. You know, you know, you fucking love to see it. The Leffingtons. I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for following. Uh, actually, it's a good time to start. This is probably the best time to start to do it right now. I don't know who's in the game. That's 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 also the other reason why I wanted Notepad because I wanted to know who. I need to write all the characters down who are in the game. All right, who's in the game? We gotta start with who's in the game. So Soul is in the game. Kai is in the game. Chip is in the game. Axel is in the game. Ram, our girl Milia. Giovanna, uh, Faust is in the game. Uh, guys, help! Zato, <laughs> Zato is in the game. Who else is in this fucking game? May. Oh, May is in the game. There you go. We're oh, Nago, Nago, Nago. We're talking about characters in the beta, by the way. In the beta, in the beta. How many characters are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who's the la Who's the character my I'm forgetting? Soul Kai, Chip, Axel, Ram, Milia, Giovanna, Faust, Zato, Potemkin, Mei, Nagoriyuki, Leo. Of course I forgot Leo. I don't give a fuck about Leo. Alright. Alright, Leo. It's always Leo. Always Leo. Always, always, always Leo. Who am I forgetting? Leo. Okay. Okay. The not a tier list tier list. AKA, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just talk about the characters. <laughs> And not actually rank them in any way, shape, or form. And we save Milia for last, because that's my girl. We save her for last. Who do you start with? Soul. He's the main character. <laughs> you gotta start with Soul. Soul Soul is strong. Like like in one sense. Soul is strong. He's the main character. Come on, dude. We gotta we gotta do Soul first. Soul is strong. He's the main character. He plays like he's the main character. He's mad easy. He does a lot of damage. He was made with this game in mind too. You know what I mean? He was made with this game in mind. The 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 three frame five K him getting that back is like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But he he he's like a he shoots this game like what he's just doing what he always does. You know what I mean? He's doing what he always does. Like he he is Guilty Gear Strive. He is Guilty Gear Strive. Cause if you played Soul in a previous version, that's just what he was doing already, but occasionally he had plus frames. <laughs> like yeah, he, he had plus frames a little bit more often. Like he's straight up just it's soul. It's it's fine. I think he's pretty strong. Uh whether or not he's gonna have Ragma Syndrome or not is the real question. And if you guys don't know what Ragma Syndrome is, is we call him triple S tier when the game comes out and then like six months later everyone's like oh he's mid <laughs> we don't know it doesn't look like it though because he he does he looks pretty complete oh wesker syndrome is that what you guys call it wesker syndrome but yeah he, he's so simple it's like there's not that much to say about him like he just plays the game in a really straightforward way you know what i mean in a super 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 straightforward way as opposed to kai where like kai is like dot 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 question mark because like he, he's, he's okay. He's okay. A lot of people are saying he's not good, but he's okay. He's okay. Actually, I think. And my thing about Kai is that his neutral is quite good still. So far slash is nerf, but his 2 dash is really good. And, uh, he still has the godlike 2k. And he's stupidly hard to anti -air. of course like it's hard to anti in this game but like even characters who have good anti-airs have problems anti him because some characters are good at anti and it's still really fucking hard to anti him uh i don't know so much about what shock state actually does to the moves that uh he has and his new move the food arc i think is really good both both as a pressure tool and also for this game so his playstyle is basically the same, but I think uh, it's gonna be you're using different tools than you're. If you played Kai for a long time, you're using tools that you're not used to using. Uh, if you have 
never played Guilty Gear. He's pretty straightforward, you know, he just controls space with his sword, he has a projectile, he has a DP that you can use on defense, he has like pretty simple stuff. Um, when I played, uh, I played a couple of like stronger Kai's and uh, I was like, oh, it's fine, like he's fine, you know, it's Kai, like he's fine. I, I was a little stressed about Kai because everyone was saying that he sucked. Maybe over time he might suffer from Ragnar Syndrome, though, too. I'm always worried about Ragnar Syndrome. I'm always worried about Ragnar Syndrome for the normal guys. Especially because people were saying he was bad from the jump. The soul, everyone's like, he's got, like, great. Kai is like, they're like, oh man, my dude's struggling. I'm like, he's struggling? What is the Ragnar Syndrome? It is, this character is fucking broken when the game comes out. And then six months later, everyone's like, this character's not that great. I think, I think Kai is better than people think, but not that much better. So Chip, a lot of people said Chip sucks. Uh, Chip is a pretty, this, this, is a, this is why we don't make a tier list. We call this not a tier list instead. Chip is not an easy character to play and he has the lowest life in the game. So he's a pretty punishing character to learn. And uh, I mean, at most, uh, some lucky people got to play for like a week or so, or almost a week. Uh, even if you started on Wednesday, you got like Wednesday to like Monday-ish type of energy. Uh, he, again, he's not an easy character. This game has high damage too. Uh, a lot of people were posting like near touch of death, you know, like meme combos, but maybe not meme combos, uh, on chip. And, but that, that type of stuff has always been in the game. Like he, he really does suffer from having a low life. Now, the trade-off is, is that he's supposed to be a broken character. Like, he's really fast, he has three jumps, uh, his offense is crazy, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think they... He, he's a tough character to balance, too, because when he's top tier, he's fucking annoying as shit, honestly. He lost, a, he, 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 got, he lost a bunch of tools. He lost a bunch of tools. He lost a bunch of tools, too. Uh, he felt... So this, this is what I say about him, because I only played one chip player, but uh, I played the president of our nation, Joe Biden. Uh, he blessed me with some free time so that I could play his chip, the president of the United States of America. Uh, his chip's very good. Good job. I don't know where you found the time to uh, practice Guilty Gear, but I guess if other government officials can play golf and shit, he can play Guilty Gear. Okay, cool. So uh, I felt like the character was strong, but... From a million perspectives, uh, specifically, uh, and you know what, too? Just, just, uh, do, do I have the matches saved or no? There he is, the president of the United States himself, Joe Biden. There it is. Uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, I felt like the character strong, but from a million perspective, uh, it felt like the matchup played the same. I'm, I'm actually gonna talk about this for Amelia later, like just my perspective on the game, but uh, it felt like the matchup was the same, but all the shit I had to do to fight Chip was way easier to deal with. Like way, way, way easier to do and deal with, which is a W for me, but an, definitely an L for him. Cause like the whole point is that he's supposed to be hard to deal with. Cause if you hit him, you delete his light bar. You know what I mean? The, that's the whole, whole, whole point. So. I feel I feel like he has potential too, but he's kind of struggling. Uh, we gotta see what happens to him long term. And I won I wonder if uh, other uh, GG boomers feel the same too. Of like, oh, it's just the same match, but everything I have to do to beat him is easier. Like like the thing I just did to him, you could not do before. Like it, it like the game, like some of the things that they did to the game, like giving more moves general recovery, like just more recovery. Like it makes it easier to fight him. Now, he's really mobile. He gets to move in weird ways and stuff, but, like, it felt like he does a lot of the same stuff, but it's easier to deal with, which is definitely an L for him. You know what I mean? 100% L. Axel is, uh, the next character. I'm gonna leave these chip matches on, but, uh... Axel... So, I, I barely played against him, and a lot of people told me he's bad, and I don't really have any thoughts on him because I just didn't play. I beat every Axel I played. They all only played me one game. I played maybe four games against him. Maybe. Four four games at most. Yeah, a lot of people told me he's bad. So I, I don't really know what to say about him besides, you know, it's the usual, like, I mean, really for me, I was like, man, I don't really have a strategy against him at all. And I don't know why people say he's bad besides no DP. 
like straight up straight up straight up so there's actually not that much i have to say uh ram i played against a ton uh both between uh noon i played N noon is probably the ram i played the most but uh she's a really popular character uh in the beta like a ton of people played her like a ton of people played her uh she is strong she's definitely strong um a lot of people saying she's op uh go ahead and say that i don't mind if they nerf ram <laughs> not gonna lie uh but she she's basically fine she's basically fine my main complaint is that her return off far slash is too high that's that's my biggest complaint easy easy my biggest complaint about her right now uh that's that's a huge thing about uh guilty gear in general especially for this like is this game guilty gear is this game not guilty gear thing like uh i'm not trying to hear people who play like uh who, who are the violators and like, like characters like uh jacko or fucking elfeld or raven or uh or johnny like i'm not trying to hear people who play those characters in exert talk about what is real guilty gear and what is not real guilty gear because you guys have no fucking idea because you, you're all playing rule breaker characters sin is another one yeah sin is another one but sin, sin is like on the board sin is like kai like, kind of similar to kai and, and sin is not dgen sin is dgen in that he beats dgen characters sin himself is not dgen yeah but i'm not i'm not trying to hear it from people like that who play characters like that i'm not trying to hear it. i'm not trying to hear it and one of the one of the biggest Actually, so one of the main themes of Guilty Gear of Guilty Gear Neutral is far poke, no combo. Close hit, combo. Very simple, right? Super simple. Far hit, no combo. Close hit, combo. Ram, far hit, combo. Nah. She can keep all the other shit. Real talk. She can keep everything else. She can even keep the 6P, because one of my biggest complaints, I said this earlier, one of my biggest complaints about the game is no return off 6P. She gets a fucking combo of 6P, a good combo of 6P. And I would be cool with that, especially if they give it to other characters. Especially if I if they give it to other characters, I'd be super cool with her having the 6P into combo. But like the far slash, no. Especially of how burst safe it is and how powerful you become after you break the wall. Because she she always is going to break the wall. She's going to do half your life. And then she has positive, which means she's going to fucking mix you. Like, you're like it's coming. The, the round is going to end. She's a super character when she breaks that wall. Just like everyone else. So that's, that's easily my biggest complaint. And it's easily her biggest advantage over the rest of the cast. Base is, is that thing. That's a huge, 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 huge thing. Huge, huge. Huge, 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 huge thing over everyone else. They, they, that is like, if there was one thing, I would be like, you, it, like, once you get to around, like, not mid screen totally, but like, it's kind of mid screen. There's a spot, like, mm, like right where, around where I'm getting pressured or where the, where the pressure got started, where if you get hit by Ram Far Slash, wall's broken. Far Slash, fucking Far Slash, not okay. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, let's go to Giovanna. This character is pretty controversial in the reverse way, where a lot of people think she sucks. And I, I was telling, I was telling my boy Flux, especially because he's here. Like, uh, legit, the first time I turned the game on, I tried her for about ten minutes, and I was like, this character's dumb. And I, I actually think she's pretty good. Uh, her main weakness, her main true, true weakness, I think, is that her anti-air is not good, like straight up. And it's a common thing in the game. But most characters have a way to either like, uh, either they do have a good anti-air move, but it's like kind of committal or hard to get into position, or they have some type of like low commit, really low return anti-air, or they have like a really godlike air versus air. And like they gave Giovanna a good anti-air move, but it's, it's hard to use, I feel like. It's really, really, really hard to use. Uh, why is Giovanna good? So Giovanna, if... We were just talking about uh, why Ram is st stupid, right? Or or feels stupid is the far slash return. So the the poke, <clears throat> the poke into no combo, and close button into combo thing is a really huge thing about GG. Again, again. So the thing about Giovanna is that she plays outside of mostly everybody's far slash range, and she can get in it and move out in and out of it, like on command in a really tricky way. And also at that same range, she has a move that's plus that she could do. 
is pretty hard to deal with. It's pretty, pretty, pretty hard to deal with. And she has, uh, I learned later, that she has a good backstep crush in Force Slash. Having, having, a good, having a good tool that's a poke and beat backdash at the same time is extremely powerful. And she has that as well. So I think she's really good. And she's cute. But I, I think she's really good. And it's like it's like a subtle... Uh, yeah, it's like a subtlety of the character. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you would have to understand that kind of how Far Slash works in the game. Like, what Far Slash means in the game. For you to, like, see that how, that thing is really strong. When people are like, saying shit, like look, like, look at that. She feels incomplete, right? Like... G look, she's she's good. <laughs> she's good. She's good. And there's a there's another really big thing about her. There's another really big thing about her that everyone does not talk about. Her fucking meter gain is out of control. Her meter gain is out of control, and I was wondering why did they give her such good fucking meter gain? And and my answer is it's probably because she doesn't have a fucking run. Even though the slide goes mad far and it carries momentum, they're like, oh, she doesn't have a run, lol, let's make her meter gain really fucking good. And then when she has a 100 meter, which is really easy to get in this game, she's fucking buff. Because she has the better defense. Because you remember too, characters like Slayer, Johnny, Potemkin, they all can't run or whatever, they all have crazy meter gain. Slayer meter gain, insane. Potemkin meter gain, insane. Johnny meter gain, insane. So... It, 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 no, it's not you're constantly dashing. It's it's they give characters with, who don't have runs faster meter build than characters who run. It's not even like she's dashing a lot. It's like they just could let her have more meter. That that's that's my assumption because that's what how they uh, made other characters. What do you mean by runs? Like, look at Millie, look at Million Chip. You see how like they literally run? Like, you can control when they stop, right? You could run, actually run. But uh, Giovanna has a step dash, so when she when she dashes, she kind of just goes bloop, and then she stops. Uh, she doesn't have that much control over where she stops. She she can control it, but she doesn't have that much control over it. Uh, so usually to make up for that, they give those characters better meter gain. Usually. So Leo also has really good meter gain in this game. And of course Potemkin has crazy meter gain, as I mentioned. Uh, but yeah, uh, people were saying that she's not good or fucking gabbing. They're, they're definitely gabbing. Definitely gabbing. In my not a tier list tier list, I'm going to say she's quite good. Nago 2, uh, I have to look at my matches against him to see. I, my assumption is his meter gain is good, but I ha I'd have to look at like my matches to see how much... So we were actually having a discussion, Flux and I, on uh, Saturday about meter gain, and uh, I watched the archives later, and routinely, if I didn't break the wall, I only got one RC per game, while uh, Flux routinely got two per game, it, even though, even in rounds where he didn't break the wall, he, he usually got two. Uh, in rounds where I break the wall, I get three, which is a, that's a lot of meter familiar. Uh, for so for Giovanna, that'd be like four or maybe five RCs in one game, like like five chances to use meter in a round in one game. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That's a lot of meter. That's a lot of meter. A lot of meter. So I'm calling it. Character's pretty good. Character's pretty good. Character's pretty good. Okay. Uh, next would be uh, Faust to talk about. Uh, Faust. Faust. Okay. So, uh, Faust uh, seems okay. I, I know Faust players. I've heard Faust players say he's not good. I think he is just different. I don't think he's in the strongest group of characters, but... He is different, but good. He's different, but good. Uh, now, the thing that it seems... Uh, it, I said that weird, but... It seems like they want him... Okay, no, I'm saying this terribly. They made his moves... They gave his moves more specific usage. There you go. So, like, 
in previous versions like Exer, like sometimes you could poke with buttons that aren't pokes and like they'll do like anti-air and poke at the same time. This version, uh, this version, it does not feel that way. So this version is like, if you want to air versus air, you have to JP. If you want to anti-air, you have to 2S. If you want to poke, you have to far slash, that type of thing, right? Uh, the trade-off is they have improved those things. So it's, it's less like wonky. So for example, uh, his far slash, it used to be that uh, characters could run under, like Milia could run under it before, now she can't. Uh, Milia could roll under it before, now she can't. Uh, the the pull, the fisherman pull, same thing. But then on the other hand, like moves like his 2H aren't as scary to me anymore. His 5K, which used to be a ground poke and an anti-air, he can only use really as an anti-air. So they made, they gave his moves more specific usage in in uh, exchange of making them better in those places, which I think is a good thing. Uh, items, I am still unsure, mostly because I don't really have, because you know, item flow characters, you need strategy against the character and the items. So uh, I don't really have any strategy against these new items. Uh, they seem, like things like uh, the trumpet seem to be okay. The new bomb is good, unquestionably good. Um, the banana is okay, the afro is really good. Uh, the new meter is crazy. Uh, hammer's still good, as usual. Um, I, I don't even know them all offhand, that's how you know. That's how you know. Uh, but yeah, he, he seems pretty good. He seems pretty good. I won't, I won't let Faust players downplay him. <laughs> I won't let Faust players downplay him. I will not let them do that. Uh, there you go, here's some Kai for y'all. Oh, and Mini Faust. Mini, Mini Faust was weird. Mini Faust was weird. That was a weird one. I I don't totally understand the interaction with the new, uh, with the new, uh, Mini Faust. Totally. Faust is literally bottom. Nope. Not, I'm not, nope. Not, not letting that happen. The only thing, okay, the only thing for long-term Faust, this is what I'll say for long-term Faust is that Faust is an easy character, okay? Faust is an easy character, so he is gonna seem strong in the beginning, right? We don't know what people will develop against Faust over time. It could be really bad for him over time, right? Because that's, ha that's what happened in, in uh, Exert, for example. In Exert Sign, Faust was like considered like ba basically top three in Sign for like the first few months, and then after a little while, people were like, oh wait, so we, we will see, but I will start by saying, feels feels good. I will not let people downplay him and say bottom one. I will not, no, 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 no. No, we do not do that. We do not do that, no. Uh, Zato, who we had on before, Zato. Uh, Zato, I mean, they say he's tricky, but he, he really is tricky. Uh, he looks, he's probably the hardest character in the game to use besides Milia and Chip. Um, like, straight up. Uh, you have to manage two characters. I've seen a lot of like glitch. Uh, I shouldn't even do glitches. They're straight up glitches. Um, they're straight up, straight up, straight up glitches. Um, where like some things, not even gonna say don't work the way they should. It's like they literally don't work the way they should. Like the the ringe clip of uh, Soul air dashing through the frog. Like we when people are like this move shouldn't work this way. It that's literally the move is not working the way it should. Right? That's literally that. That's literally that. Uh, he has good stuff though. The, the most important things for Zato, he has a couple of really important things. One, pretty good anti-air. 6P works better, that works pretty well. 2H is really good. So not as an anti-air, but an anti-jump. And it hits super fucking high. Like crazy, crazy high. Uh, and he has frog for some, some matchups. He has frog as an option. Uh, he has good air versus air now too, kinda. He seems a little bit more mobile than before. His down points have definitely been for me. Uh, a lot of his ground pokes that he used to use a lot, like 2S, have more recovery. So I think neutral with just Zato is harder than it used to be. And air throw is not as strong. So his anti-air is weaker in that way. Because anti-air air throw was actually pretty good with him. Uh, and easier to use with him. Um, the other really good thing that they added is the new, the new Mawaru is nuts. I, I think it's really strong, the new Mawaru. Um, but yeah, he, he seems pretty good. We'll see. 
he's a character that takes some development as well. So the fact that I have a good impression of him now definitely bodes well for him. Uh, if you're willing to put in the work with the character, he is a tough character to play. Uh, and, and he does also have no reversal and his defense sucks and his life bar is bad. So <laughs> he does have a bunch of downsides to playing him as well. What button is Ma Maoru is the, the, the spikes that fill up the full screen now. Uh, who do we have left? Okay, Potemkin, Scrubby, uh, next, May. Just kidding. I mean, am I kidding? Zato's neutral is kind of meh. Do you want? Do you want to see? Do you want to see Zato's neutral as kind of meh? Is that what we're saying right now? Will, will I RNG and get it? I actually RNG and got Zato. There you go. There you go. Got some Zato for you. Pot is pretty busted. So pot pot is probably going to be. Uh, memes aside, right? Potemkin. So the character that competitive players and sweats are going to complain about day one is Ram. The character that the world is going to complain about the most is Potemkin. Is definitely Potemkin. 100% Potemkin. Uh, he he is pretty scrubby. I'm not going to lie. He's pretty scrubby. It's, it's going to be Potemkin. It's going to be Potemkin. Hammerfall's fucking safe. Like, anti-airs are weaker, he does mad damage, like, uh, thank, thank god he doesn't have the old fucking backstep, thank god, imagine he had the old backdash, if he had the old backdash it would be over for us. And, and characters are gutted, so like, uh, like, one of the things that makes Potemkin weak in other games is just that other characters are mad busted. <laughs> like, he, he's usually good, he's just not as good, but like, a lot of the characters in his game are just, are weaker versions of themselves, you know? Like, straight up. He has a lot of stuff going for him. He has a lot of stuff going for him in this game. And he has the great meter gain. Uh, great life. Like, he has a lot of defense. A lot of life. When he breaks the wall, it's super Gucci for him. He, he becomes mega powerful for him. Uh, when he's getting fucked, the wall is broken. So, if they don't break the wall with a super, he goes back to neutral, which people like. A Potemkin player would love that, right? They don't get they don't get beat down, and like a lot of stuff you would use to fight, like like Hammerfall, like that's an example of the, of the the game is helping him because everything takes so long to animate that most people aren't good at hitting Hammerfall, like straight up. Uh, they 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 gotta make that move like, like punishable by jabs. Like you know you can't get knocked down off jabs, so why not just make it like minus six? We got May. May is another character that's gonna get targeted by people. Uh, she she is probably uh, the biggest example of uh, like anti airs being weak. It's probably I mean Potemkin too is in that group, but May May especially because May was already known for being hard to anti air, and now we're in this game, you know. So she does a lot of damage. She has uh, she has plus on block H Dolphin. Her game plan is relatively simple, but uh, you know, that's May. May is always like that. Uh, and her air dash is like, comes at a kind of tricky approach. It seems like some normals are not as strong as before. I didn't play against her that much uh, in the beta. She's actually, no one that I played really played her that much. I only played a couple of games against her. So I don't have that much to say besides like, the game suits her for sure. And she does a lot of damage. We gotta see it when the game comes out. But she, I already thought she was strong from the close beta. And besides like the damage and the air dash and all that, another advantage that she has over other characters is that she has a relatively easy, lazy anti jump slash anti air thing, which was uh, up dolphin. And she, and if they didn't change it from the close beta, she has air options off it. So that shit is pretty good. That shit is pretty good. Uh, then we have Nago. Not go to Yuki, where I got all my experience in basically one day. So I got all my not go to Yuki experience, not go to Yuki experience in one day. He feels good. He feels good. Um, I think he's a like one of those easy to use, hard to win with types. Because like you know, he can't move. Like he has no dash. He can't air dash. Like he can't double jump. And you have to manage the bar. 
uh, the blood gauge a lot, like pretty carefully. Uh, I think he gets bullied a lot. His return is high off stuff. That's supposed to be the thing. His return is high off stuff, but he's also like a kind of high risk character. So uh, like like long term, these, these type of characters usually Nago's not easy to use. Nago's pretty. Don't don't get it twisted. He's not hard to use, bro. Like I don't I, like. He's got huge fucking buttons. He's got a step dash. He has a way to make the step plus if they respect you. You fucking do your staggers. If you hit K and they get hit, you do your fucking combo. Like that's not hard, bro. Come on, dude. That sound. That's how you sound like the Johnny is hard to use people. Like he he's he's definitely easy to use. Is he easy to win with? No, I don't think he's easy to win with. Again, I don't think he's easy to win with. I think he's hard to win with. Uh, and he has a lot of stuff that's high risk. Uh, his, his play is high risk, like built in. And it's really, like Kizzy was really good at managing the blood gauge. Basically, if you watch this FT5, uh, there's, it doesn't happen. Like the blood rage doesn't happen. But when I played Otashi, the blood rage happened a ton, like many times. It came up a lot in the games. A lot, a lot, a lot. Many times, almost, almost once a game, <laughs> actually, almost once a game. Uh, so I think that aspect of his play is going to be pretty tough, uh, for people to deal with. I, I mean, people playing him to, to deal with. Uh, so I think he's, he's good, but he's like, he's like a middling character, a middling type of character is, his, uh, his shit is rough. His shit is rough. Uh, then we got Leo. Leo is another character people are going to complain about when the game comes out, especially if they're new to the game. Uh, it, neutral, pretty simple. Air dash, crazy. Air dash, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and the his his mix. So, like, the thing is right now, and the thing that's going to gatekeep people is the 2 3 h Because when he, when he knocks you down and he's back turned, that is, like, mix, mix. You know? Like, that is mix, straight up. But uh, the 2 3 6 h it leads into that. Uh, and he lost a lot of his older tools, like like uh, his Rekkas and stuff that were really strong and important. So uh, I think over time, people will get used to at least preventing that situation. Here's two things about Leo. Like, one of the things about Leo is that his best mix, uh, mix up is mid screen. So they want you, he wants to stay mid screen. So he, like, it seemed that the Leo players that I played against weren't breaking the wall so often. They weren't breaking the wall so often, which is a little bit of an interesting thing because you get you get the really good mix, but your meter, you're not going to have as much beater to play with, but his meter gain is pretty good. He's, he's going to be strong overall, I think. Well, I think, I think, but the, the main the main thing that is going to like get figured out uh, and what we'll see uh, people get used to dealing with is definitely uh, the 236H. Definitely, definitely 266H for sure. Okay. Uh, and then the the last and coolest character and the best character, the coolest character. What character did we not do, guys? You guys know what character we didn't do yet? It's only one. The only one that matters. It, it, it's Milia, duh. It's duh. It's Milia. It's Milia. Milia, my comments on Milia is that uh, everyone told me H just sucked, so they need to buff that. That is my thought about Milia. I was told that H disc is trash. Mo multiple times during this beta, I was told that H disc sucks. So it sucks. Please buff it. Please buff. Great stream, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, jo jokes aside, though, I think she's pretty good. I do. I do think she's pretty good. Uh, I think she's also one of the hardest characters to play in the game. In a game where uh, damage, it, damage and meter are really important, and she doesn't build a lot of meter, and she has the second lowest life, she is, you know, it's it's the usual minion shit. But uh, the meter thing is bigger than previous games. Uh, I, the only there's okay, so there's one move that I want. I'm not sure if it should be changed or not, and it's Capel. That's it's that move. Every day I go back and forth between Capel is good and Capel is not good. Every day. Today is a Capel is oh, is okay day. It's an okay move. It's an okay move. It's a it is a tricky move to use, but it's an okay move. 
it's, it's an okay move overall. Uh, they did a bunch of good stuff with her. Yeah, it's the Rose Hop. Capo is the Rose Hop. Um, they had a bunch of good stuff with her, but overall, I think she's pretty good. Um, she's pretty good. Probably in the higher group of characters, in my opinion. And she's a character that benefits from development. Uh, she has one of the best anti-airs in the game. Anti-air, like ground versus air anti-airs. The caveat being, it's a proximity normal, which is close slash. That that is the that's the only downside. She has one of the best anti-airs in the game for free. Close slash. When it activates, you're like fuck yeah. But it's fucking proximity. It's a proximity normal. So there have definitely been times where I, when I ran at somebody and I I was like close slash, and then it didn't fucking come out. And it's far slash came out instead. And I was like, oh no. Oh no. Uh, they did a good job redesigning her too. Because I think a couple of her things. Like, like pin. Because that's what all anyone talks about. Pin would be a obnoxiously broken move. Most people are saying like, oh. The wall. They didn't give it to her. Because what happens if the pin is on the ground. And the wall is broken. No, they didn't give it to her. Because she would just be the best. Because <laughs> all the ground pokes have mad recovery and shit. Like, everyone's 2H and 6P and, like, Far Slash has a ton of recovery. I, I would legit just float around and do nothing, basically. <laughs> it would be mega, mega busted if she had it. Uh, it would it, it would be impossible to fight her if she had that move in this game. I low-key feel like she probably had it at one point, and they were like, holy shit. It, 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 it would be too much. The death beam would be too good. It, it would be too good. I mean, I would love for her to have it in a, a, the game like this, but it would definitely be too good. Uh, the replace... So there's no, there's also no replacement. So there's a, that's another thing for you guys. There's no pin replacement. Uh, what I would say is that uh, there's no move to replace it. You have to think about your movement in a different way. Uh, and over time, I got I got uh, the hang of it, I think. Her... Uh, she, she is... Probably gonna end up as a top character, I think. Because she benefits from development, and I thought she was strong already from playing. Uh, the only problems I had... The problems I had the most playing her in the beta were characters where it was a matchup that I... Like, he, Faust was a pretty good example of this. Where uh, all the stuff that I liked... Nah, I liked. All the stuff that Milia would do to Faust works differently or the interaction works differently so i would be in a situation and do something that i think you're supposed to do but the move doesn't work that way anymore so the interaction doesn't work the same so though that was probably like the absolute hardest part the other hard parts would be like you know potemkin like what the fuck do you do against all i mean potemkin actually that's that actually that like oh i would do this here against potemkin but wait it doesn't work because the game changed because of this factor or that factor um the wall break stuff i think is pretty good for her because honestly you get you get two bars you get meter that she never really, usually has access to so uh i thought that part of the game was good that kind of helped her too she did she does a lot of damage she doesn't have like a stupid way of approaching really a lot of people are going to say like pin is like the dumb approach but again it's not really an approach don't listen to people who say that um like that but uh, she, her thing is like when she breaks the wall, if you don't break it with a super, she doesn't have a direct approach. So you're, you're just like, hmm. Uh, speaking speaking of Kizzy, here we go, Lord Kizzy. But, I, but I, that is all the uh, characters, though. All my thoughts, basically. If I wanted to lazily group everything, so for the people from the Kizzingtons, uh, I was just talking about my character impressions in a, this is not a tier list fashion. And probably what I would say is like going down the list here. Let's go like very strong. So Soul very strong. Kai strong. Mm, Kai better than okay. Better than okay. Chip okay. Axel question mark question mark. Ram very strong. Exclamation point. Geo strong. Faust better than okay. Zato, strong. Potemkin, very strong. Mei, very strong. Nago, better than okay. Leo, strong. Milia, 
You guys, you guys decide. I, I won't say. Milia, Milia, question mark, question mark, question mark. There you go.